ITV News can reveal tonight the sheer scale of items being destroyed or simply thrown away by Amazon. As we first reported last month, millions of items, including brand new phones, tablets and toys, were being scrapped at a single warehouse in Dunfermline. Now we've heard from whistleblowers at seven other Amazon sites across the UK. They've told us similar practices are happening there. And it also includes vast quantities of food and drink products. Richard Pallow has our exclusive report. The global anger at our revelations from inside Amazon's Dunfermline warehouse has prompted the government to look at changing the law. Tonight, we reveal what else the world's biggest online retailer sends to be destroyed from here. Long life food and drink returned by customers or by couriers. Water, fizzy drinks, unopened tins of tomato soup, brown sauce. Usable, yet all deemed liquid waste. Amazon says it's all thrown away because of concerns over food safety. The multi-pack crisps, though, are dated the 21st of August. Indeed, many items are in date and in some cases for many months. The current Amazon employee who filmed the videos says thousands of groceries are returned to Dunfermline each month. He wishes to remain anonymous. What percentage of liquid waste and food waste that you deal with is in date and totally sealed? I would say that about 70% of it at least is all in date and sealed and will be good to go to a food bank. Huge cans of beans, biscuits, large amounts of bottled water. It's incredibly wasteful. Last month, we uncovered 125,000 unsold electrical and non-electrical items being marked out to be destroyed weekly. The likes of drills, computers and headphones. Unnecessary waste on an industrial scale. Since our initial investigation, we've been contacted by current and former Amazon employees from all over the country, alleging similar practices wherever they were. All say that they witnessed large quantities of new and unsold items being marked out for destruction. We spoke to employees from eight warehouses, a third of Amazon's UK depots. In Bolton, we were told how staff regularly throw away perfectly good items, such as tablets and phones. In Daventry, a current worker says hundreds of toys, clothes and books were destroyed to make space during a renovation. And a former Bedfordshire worker had to destroy pet food repeatedly whenever just one item was missing from a pack. In Darlington, a trainee teaching assistant who had a part-time Amazon role quit, appalled at what she was asked to do. Working with children, um, yeah, I thought it was disgusting really. And then seeing what goes in a bin you know i could just pick those books up and i could take them to that school where you were where now. i where i'm helping and it would just it would lighten so many children's little faces and separately in a survey for itv news more than a quarter of uk amazon employees questioned say destroying stock is part of their job the study was done in partnership with organize an employment rights group in a statement, Amazon say, to suggest we throw away perfectly good food or drink is wrong. If we can donate it, we will donate it. On non-food waste, they state that our priority is to resell, donate or recycle any unsold products. We recognise that confusion may have stemmed from our use of the word destroy. We are in the process of replacing it with terms that more accurately reflect our long-standing business practices. Every year, Amazon donates millions of products to charities across the country. But that's still an insufficient explanation for some. Amazon could act today. They should not have to have regulation to do the right thing. But it looks like we may need to force doing the right thing on a company that is choosing not to at the moment. And if Amazon have enough money to put their owner into space, they certainly have enough money to sort out this problem. Jeff Bezos claimed his trip into space on Tuesday made him realise how fragile the Earth is and how we are damaging it. Ironic, perhaps, given the company he founded continues to waste the planet's resources. Astonishing, just astonishing findings there, Richard. But you've had developments today, haven't you?
Yes, yeah, six charities, including Greenpeace and Friends of the Earth, have written to the Prime Minister demanding an anti-waste law, as they call it, an Amazon law. They call it this way staggering. We spoke to the Environment Secretary, George Eustace. He admits that their behaviour is extraordinary. He says he is in talks with the company and that they need to stop it. However, when pressed, he wouldn't give a firm commitment as to when or indeed if hard legislation was going to be brought in. Amazon say that they are working towards their stated goal of zero product disposal. But in all of this, I think what jumps out as part of that statement... They say they're in the process of replacing the word destroy. I mean, we spoke to some workers who say that word's already been replaced with the word remove. So they're altering their vocabulary, but as yet they're not altering the way that they operate. All right, Richard, thank you.